In this video, we will be speaking about the red flags in public procurement data. These red flags alert us to potential irregularities in a public procurement procedure. When you are working with a huge database, it's simply not possible to look at the details for each contract. This is when red flags come in handy. You can use them to filter contracts, reveal suspicious goings on, and analyze those marked with the red flag. Having a red flag doesn't automatically mean something is uh, illegal, but it helps uh, to pinpoint point corruption. And if a contract is littered with uh, red flags, there is a good reason for suspicion. Are you finding lots of uh, small contracts for the same company? Is it possible that a major contract has been split into smaller lots to sidestep competitions? Watch out. Tight deadlines are another red flag. Watch, what's the rush? You should also watch out for when it's always or almost always only one company submitting a bid. Has the contract been tailored to fit that one company? You have to ask. Careful, that might not be a red flag in highly specialized sectors. When different prices are displayed for exactly the same thing by different authorities in the same year, for example, then you have to ask yourself, what's going on? Are the authorities bad negotiators or have they made an agreement? Amendments are quite important too. Sometimes a company wins a contract because they beat the lowest price, but then during the performance of the contract, this is amended and becomes more expensive, sometimes even more than the other bids that were rejected. This is a traditional form of corruption, be alert. And not to forget the most obvious opacity. This can arise in the form of incomplete fields on your database. What's being hidden and why? Is it just a case of incompetence on the authority side or are they are covering something up? This is specifically important when the law requires the publication of this specific data. It may also be the case that a small group of companies are dividing up the contract in a specific sector, sometimes, sometimes taking turns to win tenders. This is what we call a cartel. It's important to note that sometimes you will have to rely on other sources, such as the trade registry, to find these red flags. For example, if several companies with the same address are submitting bids for the same contract, it happens, I can assure you, then be suspicious. Or if your government is purchasing something from a company you've never heard of, it is useful to find out who, are, who they are so you can uncover ties with public officials for example, or conflicts of interest. And that might be a red flag right there, bright and clear. 